Some children with cerebral palsy develop a crouch gait as they grow. This is because of a combination of muscle imbalances around the hip, knee, and ankle that progressively worsens. As crouch gait worsens over time, these children may lose the ability to walk independently, needing a walker or a wheelchair in their teenage years. Treatment of crouch gait involves two surgeries done at the same time, called a distal femoral extension osteotomy and a patellar advancement. The purpose of the surgeries is to straighten out the leg, improve the alignment of the kneecap, and improve walking distance and endurance. Before the surgery, a gait analysis is done using cameras, motion tracking sensors, and modern technology to determine how the muscles, bones, and joints are functioning. The analysis is reviewed by our multidisciplinary team made up of all our pediatric orthopedic surgeons that perform the procedure, rehab physicians, physical therapists, bioengineers, and orthotists. Together, they design an individualized plan of care, unique to each patient. To begin the procedure, first the anesthesiologist will put the child to sleep and administer any extra pain control if needed. Next, the surgeon will make an incision in the thigh and remove a wedge-shaped piece of bone from the thigh bone, or femur. The leg is moved into place and the surgeon secures the bone together with a plate and screws. Now, the leg is able to fully straighten. Next, the surgeon will make an incision on the front of the knee to access the kneecap, or patella. A portion of tendon is removed, and the kneecap is moved into a position that is better for walking. Several tunnels are made in the kneecap, then sutures are used to secure the kneecap so it stays in the right place. Typically, both legs are done in the same surgery, so there is only a single recovery period. Depending on the recommendations from the gait analysis, the surgeon may also make other surgical corrections at the same time. After the surgery, you will need about 6 to 12 weeks of rest in leg braces and between 1 to 2 years of physical therapy. After completion of physical therapy, you should be able to fully extend your leg and walk with an improved gait. To find out more information about crouch gait treatment, visit the Children's Hospital Colorado website.